Hey guys, so today's video, I'm starting off a little further in the process than I normally do. I normally start from adding my lye solution to my oils. This soap batter has already been emulsified, meaning the oil mixture and the lye water solution has already been combined. So the chemical process has already begun of turning lye water and oils into soap. I have added my colorant and my fragrance oil since this batch is all one color i added my colorant right to my fragrance oil and the colorant today is a blend of rosal clay and cocoa powder which is fun i always love when you can get these really rich hues with things that you might find in your cupboard anyways you know what i'm saying that's always fun. The fragrance notes are kind of woodsy, evergreen, citrus, pine, roasted butter, and honey. It's just a really warm, cool mix. The warm honey kind of bakery notes blend with the woodsy notes, and then the citrus just adds a nice little punch. So this batch is unique because I have a scraper and stamp set that I'm going to be using. I am not proficient with scraper tools. As amazing as they are, I have never had a batch where I'm like, wow, this looks amazing. I'm so proud of myself. It turned out exactly how I wanted it to. I've been trying scrapers for the last several years. And I know there are tricks and tips to them. The trace of the soap when you try scraping does make a big difference. Obviously, this is too thin. It's too runny. It's like water. It's not going to hold up any kind of form. And it makes a big mess, as you can see. I'm leaving this in because I want you guys to see that it doesn't always turn out exactly how you think it will. And sometimes in videos... We watch people make things and we see the end result and we're like, wow, that's so great. We don't see the mess of the process. So I left this in. This, this whole process took probably about an hour from the time I started to the time I finished. And because this particular scraper has like a peak at one point, I kind of built up that um, soap with my little spatula to kind of make sure that the soap was fully going through that little scraper tool or else there's little dents. Um, you'll see when I cut it what this is and then I wanted to have a glittery top to look like snow so I have some white colorant and then I also added a whole boatload of glitter. Some of these are just straight up glitter. They're biodegradable glitter. But then I also added a biodegradable glitter that is shaped like snowflakes. It is so cute. It is so cute. I love me some glitter. I did uh, spritz it down as you saw with rubbing alcohol. I do get my rubbing alcohol from Walmart. And it's 99% isopropyl alcohol, easy to find, it's not expensive, it does help kind of um, set those that glitter so it kind of sticks. But it also helps with soda ash, which I'm not really worried because the top is white anyways. So there it is. And this soap will discolor because of the fragrance oil. And I had planned on that. I wanted a little cottage, you know, like a winter cottage with the snow on the top and then brown. Um, so brown was really what I was going for. Any fragrance oil that has vanillin content, it is an element in the scent vanilla, will discolor your soap. That is one of the hardest lessons for a new soap maker and this stamp came with the set. I just spritzed it with rubbing alcohol again and then pushed it gently in. These bars still are warm from gel phase. I feel like I hop from one thing to the next. Hopefully you guys are getting some helpful tips. I try to share as much of the process as I humanly can because I know what it is like to be a brand new soap maker and wonder how things are done and have a million questions 
and really struggle and fumble around. I can't do this journey for you. I can't put this, all the information into your brain, but I do wanna plant little seeds that might help you. And um, knowing that you have a soap maker friend that's there for you, that's got your back, that's gonna give you little tips, that is just so helpful. I don't see um, us as competition. I see us as all in the same thing together. We're all in this together. I love how this stamp just finishes up because you can see that it kind of looks like a house, that, that scraper, but the stamp finishes the look. It finishes it and you can do so many things with this scraper set. It's not just a winter thing. Like if you wanted to, you could put frosting on the top to do like a winter um, gingerbread house. You could do it as a summer farm house. There's just so many options and details that you could add. I added a little bow to mine with some melt and pour soap. I love it. You could also use soap dough, um, which I'm getting into more and have really enjoyed. So from this picture, you can see the detail of the little snowflake biodegradable glitter. It's really subtle, but it does the trick. It's so effective. I personally love it. I love it. So there you go, another little close up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, my name's Martha. My shop is at bluehavensoapery.etsy.com. If you're watching this after November 15th, you can go on over to my shop and shop all of the holiday collection.